All right, now blend them into a paste, okay? How's this look? Not quite. Almost. Okay. Now you can see. See how it looks. Get a nice red color. When you do that, don't take this and stick your head in there and take a nice deep breath. You won't be able to talk. Okay? So now I have some fresh tomatoes chopped. All right? I have my last bowl. Okay? Tomatoes in the bowl. All right? And this chipotle paste, I like to add maybe um, one, two, Three tea, well, that would be three teaspoons as a tablespoon. So I mix them up. Now this, this color is just fabulous. And if you like something that's really hot, this is the salsa for you. Then you want to take all the contents of this blender and uh, put them in there. These, these things are fiery, okay? So what I always do with all my salsas, I have a, an acidic flavoring, which in this case is a lime. I think a lime goes well with this. Okay, I had the juice of one lime. And I have here two whole chopped tomatoes. Okay. Get a good tomato. Get a good tomato. Get a hot house tomato in the summer. Get one either out of your garden. Go to the farmer's market. Don't skimp on it. Get a good tomato. You know, it makes a difference. It makes a world of difference. Okay, so now I've got that and I add a little bit of salt. Okay. Just a little bit. Don't need a whole lot. And with this salsa, I like to have cilantro. Okay? Maybe what do I have here? Handful. Handful of cilantro. Okay, coarsely chop it. Alright. Okay. This is the salsa you want to make for your macho friends, you know? When you're watching the game, here in this one. Little chips, a little bit of this. Boy, it's tasty. But the smoky flavor, you know, that's what really, I mean, that's, that's where the, the, uh, the real value of these, it, you know, you can make something hot. But with these, it, it has such a nice smoky flavor. Lovely. Okay, now I have some Anaheim chilies. All right, Anaheim chilies. These are freshly roasted. You can buy the canned ones. They're okay. But also in the fall, you know, you can buy yourself a box of uh, Anaheim chilies and roast them yourself, either on your gas grill or on your gas stove. Adds a nice flavor. These don't add much heat, but they do add a nice flavor. Okay? So that, and with this one I like a little bit, this one's a little bit of cumin. Okay? Gives it that southwestern flavor. This is a good southwestern style uh, fresh salsa. This is nice. This one gets better with age. Make this one, give it a couple of days in your refrigerator. You'll see. You'll see all the flavors will blend. It all comes together. It's, it's nice. It's nice, okay? This is not a cooling salsa, okay? This one is, will grab you. Okay, so, what did I do? I have my cucumbers. This one's a cooling one, a chipotle salsa. We'll get all these together, and we'll take, let me see. Is this, I'm going to grab a chip here. And we'll see if the right, and we'll see if this is uh, if this actually is hot. Yeah, yeah, this one's good. Oh yeah, yeah, that one works. It's good. Okay, so 
Anyway, there's all our salsas. We'll get all these into bowls. We'll get some chips and uh, we'll take a look at, at um, how all the colors blend and everything and we'll get our salsa show wrapped up. Okay, here we have our five salsas. These are five of, I don't know, unlimited different combinations and different kinds of salsas that you can make. Especially uh, in the summer when you have all fresh ingredients, uh, your garden is overflowing, you think about turning some of those things into salsas. They make excellent condiments, good accompaniments for uh, a lot of different dishes. Anyway, we'll just go a quick review. We have here our tomatillo salsa, the fresh onion, the strawberry, and this one is actually a, just for color. This one's my favorite of these five. We have a fresh tomato with the uh, chipotle peppers and cucumber salsa, okay? This one is the real cooling salsa. This one's the real heater. So anyway, um, that gives you some ideas. There's no real rules here. It's just, you know, you mix and match things according to your taste and combine them with foods that you think are appropriate and that you like. Okay, so thanks for joining me with Vegetarian Kitchen and I um, hope you come back and then from time to time We'll be making a dish that'll be appropriate, and maybe I'll mention a salsa here and there, and um, then you'll know and be able to uh, whip these up, and you'll have a nice side dish or condiment to go with your things. Thank you.